When we look at most plants around us, we see the parts of the plants that grow above the soil. Do plants have other parts as well? Plants are able to stand tall and firm because of this part of plant called the roots, which mostly remain under the ground. There are two main types of roots seen in plants. Some plants have tap roots, while some have fibrous roots. Carrot plant is an example of a tap root. A tap root forms when one main root grows from the base of the stem and many other smaller roots grow from this main root. This main root keeps growing downwards and goes deeper into the soil. Other plants that have tap roots are bean and beetroot. The fibrous roots are seen in plants like grass. In this type of root system, numerous roots of the same size grow from the base of the stem. These roots grow sideways in a bunch and do not go very deep into the soil. Some plants that have fibrous roots are onion and wheat. Roots are a very important part for plants. Look at this boy trying to pull out a bunch of grass from the soil. He tries to pull the grass, but the plants do not come out easily and the boy ends up lifting the pot. This shows that roots of the grass plants are holding them firmly in the soil. Thus the roots function to prevent the plants from being uprooted by fast wind and flowing water. Now look at this boy digging holes in the soil. While making the holes, the boy removed the roots of some grass plants. After a few days, he noticed that the plants whose roots were removed dried up and died. Can you think of the reason why the plants died? Roots absorb water and minerals for the plant from the soil. In the absence of roots, the plants could not get water and died. Roots of many plants such as carrot, beetroot and radish also help to store the extra food made by a plant. Now we all know how important is the roots to the plant. Good morning dear children. How are you all? Hope you are all well. Children, in previous class we learned the functions of roots and the functions of stem. In today's class, we shall learn about the functions of leaf. Okay? Children, we should draw a leaf diagram first. Let's draw the leaf diagram now. This is the diagram of leaf. Let's label its parts. Okay. This is called petiole. This is called petiole. And this is called main vein. Leaf blade. Sideways. Children, this is the leaf diagram. Okay? You should also draw a leaf diagram and label its parts. Children, this part of leaf is connected to the stem and it is called petiole. And 
the line which passes in the middle is called main ray and the line which goes on the sides of the leaf is called sidewise the flat part of leaf is called leaf blade did you understand the part this part of leaf is connected to stem and it is called as petiole did you understand children do you know why plants are green in color plants are green in color because there is a substance that is present in leaf that is called as chlorophyll it gives green color to the plant children if you observe this image of plant you will understand it clearly yes children now let's discuss the functions of leaves okay leaves are almost green in color in most of plants we see leaves are green right children leaves are able to prepare food for the plant leaves prepare food for the plant by a process called photosynthesis leaves prepare their leaves prepare food for the plant by using sunlight air and water and this process is called as photosynthesis the process of preparing food for the plant by using sunlight air and water is called as photosynthesis did you understand what is photosynthesis now children leaves are represented as food factory of the plant it is a food factory because it prepares food for the plant and it controls gaseous exchange of gases such as oxygen and carbon dioxide right plants use carbon dioxide for respiration we know that there is minute pores that are present in leaves and it is called as stomata by that plants respire the leaves support the plant for respiration did you understand as they prop they also perform the internal transpiration of minerals and water to the plants other parts of plants did you understand now yes children we know now the functions of leaves and also we come to know why plants are green in color because there is a substance that is present in leaf called chlorophyll it gives green color to the plants children in some plants they store food in leaves we use those leaves as food what are those plants yes cabbage cabbage and coriander these are plants that store their food in leaves children some plants have distinct aroma right what are those plants mint is yes, mint is an example for distinct aroma plants children you know about flowers yes it is a brightest color in the plant flowers are of different colors in different plants and of different sizes and shapes right children these flowers blossom from buds of the plants first the plant produces buds and then it blossoms the flowers children the primary flower the primary function of flower is reproduction these help in reproduction process of the plant children fruit let's know about fruit now fruit is a part of plant it grows around the seeds when we sow the seed in the soil it grows into a plant right these seeds are the primary source of reproduction in plant right yes children observe this image the germination of seeds children in today's class we discussed about 
the functions of leaves and the functions of flowers and the functions of fruits right yes children in some plants we use flowers as vegetables what are those plants cauliflower yes cauliflower is an example for the plants which store their food in flower also broccoli these are examples for plants that store their food in flowers did you understand the concept children now what we discussed today yes children in the next class we shall move on to the interesting topic thank you take care